I don't know how it took me so long to register what I had to do there, but oh my god. What is going on guys? My name is Hextry and welcome back to MS Series Season 3. Now in the last episode we finished up by going to the Everbright Dimension and getting the, um, I think it was called the Speed Arc from the Summoner. And off camera I actually did, okay I did a lot, um, I did a lot, yeah. I got this enchantment table here off camera in between episodes. Uh, I ended up going back to the Everbright Dimension and we're, I'm just gonna, what's happening? This right here is how we're gonna do this. If you guys remember at the end of MS3 Season 2, I was talking about how I wanted to do like a room with just all, like everything in it and kind of showcase everything off. This is how we're gonna do it. Every single dimension, every new like biome that's just overloaded with a bunch of stuff, I'm gonna make custom rooms for it and this is the first one and then it's just gonna go down and down but uh yeah i did some off-camera mining and this is the op side which you can see this is all enchanted which i ha i don't actually is soft fall like feather falling but better i don't know i think i have yeah i have faster attack grounded edge and lightning aspect lightning aspect i got from one of the summoners towers which i say one of them because right here you can see i went to multiple Anyways, though, I think it is time, this right here, I think it is time to jump into the, um, Everdawn dimension. Alright. Well, no time like the- Whoa. Okay, no time like the present, let's get her going, I guess. Oh. So if you guys remember from the last episode, Diopside is very powerful, I think. This does 11.5- oh, wait. Oh, okay, that's refreshing. It didn't tell me that my tools don't work here. Anyways, we got some cool looking spiders here. Wow, you guys suck. What the hell was that? I don't want to mess with any... Ooh, I don't really want to mess with anything in this dimension now, dude. That is... It was like that spider had kill aura. Alright, well, time to go pick a fight with something else I'll probably lose against. Huh? Never mind. So, what does this, uh, what does this look like? That's good to know. I think these might be trees, but what I was saying that's good to know is it looks like we got some structures, it looks like. So, I think we're gonna backtrack and head this way. Yeah, I think this one's gonna be more on the scarier side. You know, the other one is supposed to be all nice, like I was saying, and then this one's gonna be, like, the total opposite. Is that a purple fox? Oh my god. Can I, like, take you? Cosmic fox. I was able to tame this fella using... Wait, do they teleport? We gotta find out. <gasps> oh my god, they teleport. Okay, you're coming home, like, right now. Maybe I have to go through in order for him to go through? I hope. I hope I can take this guy home with me. Oh, what? Okay, well, I got a fox now. I guess I just can't bring him with me back home. I'll figure out a way. 100% I'll figure out a way. The spider's lair. Oh, shit. Well, there's no time like the present, right, buddy? Yeah, you agree. Damn right. Okay, maybe there is times other than the present. Okay, well, it looks like we can't go in there yet. Um, maybe we can do whatever this is. Is that Moonstone? When I came to a new dimension, I expected to find new ores too, alright? Not just new challenges. Oh, wow. Okay, actually, part of that looks interesting. And I kind of want to try out my softfall. Well, I mean, I could... Oh, shit. Dude, no shot. <laughs> Oh, what are these? Sunstone crystals. They could be used to fuel any furnace as well as a way to charge the Horizonite Forge. Any tools created from it are able to smelt ores right from the stone. Is that Horizonite? No, it's Cinderstone. Ugh, this is boring. I want to go explore whatever this is. Now I really want to explore whatever this is. What is this? So, if I'm not ready to progress in the spider's lair, then where am I ready to progress to? I mean, to be honest, I might just have to pick our direction and go, man. So, fuck it, we're going this way. Okay, found a village. Maybe some, some good stuff in these homes. Scale fruits, glass, and books. How interesting. And I love walking into villages and neighborhoods and just ransacking them for everything. What is that? Oh, dude, we got Horizonite. Ooh, this looks nice. Okay, never mind. I wonder if this leads to anything. No, just whatever this is. Horizon Night Ore. Okay, that is not where I expected that to go. Oh my god. Oh, what's up with me and just finding these caves, dude? Like, come on now. This wasn't even my plan. I just randomly decided, oh, hey, you know what would be funny? If I jumped in the well. 
What we got? Potions? Fire resistance. All right, I'll take it. I don't know really what I'm supposed to do if I can't progress into the spider's lair yet. Like, what do I what do I need? I might have to make Horizon Eye armor. That's like the only way I can think of being able to progress there. Unless, wait, there's an <gasps> there's achievement systems. Oh my god, what have I not done in here? Grow and eat a pink blueberry and then make a cherry pie. I've done everything else. Okay. Enter a nature dungeon. Haven't found one of those. And then kill the starlit crusher. So we still have a couple things to do in the Everbright dimension. Walk into a baneful mushroom and enjoy the consequences. Okay. Well, the baneful mushroom area looks like it's like over here on Orthodox Valley. Walk into a baneful mushroom and enjoy the consequences because that sounds inviting. The shaded woodlands. I had to step with caution across Across this area, I found a seemingly harmless purple mushroom. Oh, also, I lost my fox trying to find this place, by the way, guys. Just want to let you know that. Oh, I uh, switched my shaders, and now the game is actually creepy. So, that's cool. So what? I just got to search for the... Okay. Kind of figured that was going to be something different, but okay. I have to kill the alchemist. So, we got to go find the alchemist, I guess. Is there like a special special biome he resides in? Well, actually, hang on. There might be something about him in the book. The Everdawn's Blinding Dungeon. Oh, there it is. Oh my God, it was right in front of me. All right, so this I assume is where we are gonna find Le Alchemist. Looks about the same premise, just way taller for some reason. God damn, why is your tower so tall? There's one. Detonation. Whoa, that's for a crossbow. Okay, that's gonna be sick as hell. There's two. I'll take that and that and that as well. Why not? I don't want that. Hello, cat. <sighs> okay, let's give this alchemist a go. First, though, I do want to make a waypoint. All right, let's give you a go, shall we? What are you gonna do? That fucking hurt. Don't. Joke's on you. I don't need to see anyways. But he is sitting in poison right now. You're a tough one to kill just of how much you like to move around. That's just heavily annoying, man. I'm gonna eat one of these. Why not? Okay, you're past your halfway point. What's your... That's not funny. You wanna, you wanna play that game? Fine. Okay, either the summoner was just that much more difficult than you, or you genuinely suck this bad. Oh, come on. Okay, that guy was a lot easier. Um, anyways, let's check his loot bag. We got a Dusk Arc. That is not, ooh, and a Spike Shield, say less. Um, we now have an Alchemist Trophy, which is cool. And we have the Dusk Arc. Grants invisibility while sneaking with smoke. Oh, not what I was expecting, but cool. So was that what I, that was the Alchemist. I'll do that later. I gotta kill the Arachnark. I kinda wanna give it a shot, guys. Low key, or, or we'll say, you know what? Yeah, we're gonna save it for next episode. We're gonna save it for next episode because I also just remembered that we have to go back to the ever bright dimension and finish off this, a starlit crusher. Or maybe we'll just randomly decide to uh, switch it up and maybe I'll just be like, hey, you know what? I don't wanna do that anymore. So I just got raw moonstone. Why do you guys drop raw moonstone? Whoa, wow, we got really laggy here. Um, I would honestly, I don't know why I got so laggy all of a sudden, but I would really like to go get more of this. Don't laugh at me. I would like to go get more of the horizon ingots. So maybe before I end the episode, I don't know why I went horizon, but before I end the episode, we can go try to, uh, try to look for some more. So let's do that real quick. God, this looks absolutely insane. That is more Diopside. Oh, is that chaos? It is. It's chaos. I still don't know what the hell to do with these. Not seeing anything I need. By that, I mean, I'm not seeing any horizon. Mm, I stand corrected. How much do we have? We have 11. Okay, so we have 12 total. You know, when I started trying to find a bunch of this stuff, I thought it was going to be, like, super difficult. But honestly, it's a piece of cake. I have 21 now. I'm going to I'm gonna head back home. I think I've had enough of, of this place. God, I forgot how the real world looked. It's been so long. Let's go get started on the decoration of this place. I'm going to have to go get way more of this. But the only reason I came down here in the first place... You know, I don't really want a maple. Well, actually, the theme I'm doing is red. So technically, all right, let's go ahead and throw all, not those, throw all of this shit in here. And then I'm going to go back and grab a bunch more blocks. I don't know how it took me so long to register what I had to do there. 
but oh my god. How the- is this the first time- what? Oh, hey, there's one of those, uh, things over there. What do we have up in here? No, it's gotta be blocks from, uh, Everdawn. I just remembered that. Sunstone block. Yeah, sorry guys, I like the look of these. I'm taking them. So, the other planet had sunstone. Or, the other one had moonstone. So, these guys have sunstone. Oh, that's what- okay. Doing it this way is definitely going to take a lot more resources, but that's that's okay cuz now that I uh now that I remember how easy it's actually going to be to make all of these, I'm not really worried about it. Oh, this is going to take a long time. Okay, after what my opinion took a really really long time, way longer than it should have, we are finally done with this room. And this is our final outcome. I personally think this one looks better. I like the look of this one more, maybe just because there's more in it, but this is uh, this is the outcome. So basically the reason that this took so long is because I had to make a bunch of these. Not, uh, not these, but these right here. I had to make a bunch of these moonstone blocks, which took absolutely forever to make. Anyways, right here, this is what I was able to make with the, um, the Horizon Knight here. As you can see, I enchanted this pickaxe too. Enchanted this pickaxe, and then I repaired all of my tools and put them on display right here. So you can see I have my armor here, and the reason that this armor is now on display is because I am going to... I can go down the ladder. I'm gonna, um, off camera finish this set, and then we're gonna enchant it. Now we just have one more thing to do, which I... I don't know if I should do this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. If you guys don't like what I'm about to do and you want me to uh, to not do it, then maybe I'll change my mind. Just let me know down in the comment section. But let's um, let's do this. There we go. And now we have now we have a friend. What a character! Look at him go. Here, hang on. We'll summon two just so it's not as boring in here. Uh, I don't really know what else there is to do for this episode, so um, I think I'm gonna call it here. If you guys enjoyed this episode of MS Series Season 3 and you want to see me come back to it in the near future, then do let me know by dropping a like on the video, subscribing to the channel if you're new, as well as comment down below what you guys thought. Anyways, without any further ado, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video, so peace out.